Hi friends, today for our STEM challenge for the library, Janelle and Elmore, we are going to be making mazes. And as you can see, we made mazes out of all kinds of different materials that you could find around the house. This one is made out of a paper plate and some straws. Here I have a, a cookie sheet with Play-Doh and uh, Q-tips. We've got a box here that I made, and it's not even a maze, it's kind of like a Planko uh, kind of game that you can do. We did some out of Legos. You can do it out of whatever you can find around the house. Some simple materials that we need that you can find around the house. You're gonna need something to draw with, or a marker. You're gonna need some scissors, glue, tape, a box or a pan or a paper plate, any of these kinds of things, Play-Doh, tape, straws, stapler, um, pasta, anything that could work. The next step that you're going to need is you're going to need to come up with a plan. So you're going to want to take a few minutes to figure out what kind of plan you're going to want. You are going to then want to draw out your plan on your paper plate or whatever it might be. Once you have a route that you want to go, you can then draw that out. Then we can start to take our utensils, whatever we want, pasta or straws, and use that to glue down the walls for our um, maze. You could also use cardboard, leftover cardboard from the box that you cut up. You could use paper, notebook paper, anything. You could make tunnels. You could be as creative as you as want. As you can see, I started here. I have my start and finish line. I've already taped down one straw. You're going to want to cut your straws. I'm choosing straws. You can use pasta. You can use Q-tips or anything that you can think of to make your path for your maze. You can use any kind of ball that you want. If you find a golf ball around the house or a bouncy ball, a marble. Um, I even said that if you had a hamster, you could use your hamster. The only thing is that you want to make sure that your pathway is going to be big enough for the ball to get through. Because if you don't have a pathway that is big enough for the ball, then you won't be able to complete the maze. So you just wanna go ahead and start putting all these pieces down here. They don't have to be a certain way. You just wanna make sure that your path can get you to the finish line. And if you wanna be a little, um, make it a little interesting, make some obstacle courses. If you take a closer look to add our Lego one, we have some alligators in there, some danger scenes and stuff like that. Like I said, have fun with this and please send us your results. Show us your results on the Elmore Genoa Library page or on the comments right below.